evening, sir. You, boy! What do you think you're doing? Nothing. What about you? Well, I'm, uh, uh, I, I, I'm looking for naughty boys. I, I mean, I'm looking for naughty boys in the wrong parts of town. Uh, uh, what I mean, Hopkins, is that I'm glad to report that in that disgusting store, I did not find one naughty boy. Not one. Well, that's good, sir, because filth like that can really rot a young man's mind. Exactly! That's why I got this research, to check on the dangers. It's good to see a teacher so dedicated to his work, sir. Thank you! No problem. But I'll tell you, Hopkins, I'm quite worn out with all this work. I don't, uh, suppose you could do me a favor. What? Well, uh, how do I put this? I'm in charge of the laundry this week, but I got so carried away with my research that I forgot to collect it all at the same time. <laughs> it would be embarrassing to ask for it now. Oh, uh, maybe you could help, but you'll uh, have to be discreet. Discretion is my middle name, sir. Great! So go and collect all the dirty laundry from the, uh, girls' dorm. Okay. And if you get caught, I know nothing about it. I won't say anything, sir. In fact, I'll make it clear that I never saw you coming out of an adult store clutching illicit magazines. Good boy! Now hurry up and bring them to me by the school gates, but... Shh. I'll see you soon, Jimmy. That sucks.
I see you found your way in. the trouble I just went through. Yes, thanks for this laundry. Here's some money for your troubles. I always knew I could do it. Now you're out of my way. I'm going to have to show you the force of my will. I told you.